I've been exploring some extreme sports recently, breaking myself too, because uh, you know, no pain, no gain. The last video that I did was exploring ski biking, which was a blast. And if you want to watch that video, click up here. That's pretty much mountain biking in the winter time. And so I thought, wow, what's a sport that would be really fun, also kind of fresh and new, that would be maybe snowboarding in the summertime. So meet electric mountain boarding. This thing is a blast. I've been on it for a few days now, kind of running it through its paces, just kind of getting the muscle memory down. But then I realized, well, I got a friend of mine that has a one wheel. Why don't we take the one wheel and the electric mountain board and put them through their paces, you know, see what's better for different riding styles, different kinds of terrain, different obstacles. And we're in an awesome little mountain bike park where we can really do that. And I don't know, I think the uh, electric mountain board is going to come out on top. One wheel's where it's at. Well, we'll find out. Let's do it. I'm not taking any chances after multiple sport-induced injuries over the summer, including breaking my shoulder blade and my pelvis. So I'm padding up, and if you're not afraid to look, well, a little thick, I've got a tip for you. There's a company called Purple. They make gel beds, and this is actually lumbar support. So my silicone butt implant is gonna go right here. This is gonna protect me from falling because when you fall on the mountain board, you fall on your ass usually. So, it might look goofy, but it works. And it also twerks. Give me oh. money and go sign up for the ass. <laughs> Oh, my silicone butt implants are flaring, but he just can't stop staring. Haters will be hating, but my ass will just be gyrating. <laughs> no. I'm just having a little fun. Everyone's a critic. <laughs> well, now it's time to strap in and get this show on the trail. Aren't you ready yet? One wheel's always ready. All right. Now that we're warmed up, let's put these boards through their paces starting with some steep terrain. Oh, oh. Woo. <laughs> Effort. Right. After a few more tries and adding some more air in the tire, the one wheel made it up too. One wheel make it. But the mountain board really excels here, no pun intended. All that extra power is excellent for hill climbing. Well, good job. We did that one. Let's see how uh, cornering is. I'll follow you. All right. I would say that we shouldn't really focus on speed right now. We should just see how each board is efficient in sort of how it handles. Blue man goes first. All right. Yeah, turning is just effortless for him. It's not bad. You can turn effortlessly. The one wheel really shines here. Having a single tire allows you to easily make a turn at pretty much any angle. The mountain board, on the other hand, while faster, needs a fair amount of runway to make a turn. So sharp turns are pretty difficult, especially heel side. Oh, that is not easy. Although the faster you go, the easier it is to turn. And maybe, just maybe, ah. nope. Ah. Ah. I've made it farther before. 
The point definitely goes to the one wheel on turning. Hey, Kevin, can you do this? All right, Mike, you already got the point. Show off. No serious head-to-head -head would be complete without a drag race. And with all that power behind these four wheels, I'm definitely feeling good about this one. So, game on. When it comes to the raw power and speed, four wheels are better than one. Now it's time to really put these things to the test and shred a mountain bike trail. We chose a technically mild and flowy trail. But what's really cool about boards like these is that they add a whole new level of difficulty and fun even to trails that you are otherwise familiar with. It's like discovering a whole new trail. There were places where the one wheel excelled, others where the mountain board just felt effortless. But one thing is for sure, we were having a blast. Oh, the rock garden's there. Oh, God! Oh, Time really flew by. Before we knew it, we burned through our daylight and it was time to hop up on the roof of the van, chill out with a drink, and have a little review. Hear that? They're in fear now. They see all the one wheel marks and all the trails. Let, let's be honest, the mountain board fear. marks. All my cool skid marks. They're saying our domain has been violated. The one wheel is amongst us. Mountain board versus one wheel. I don't think it's really a versus. I don't think that, in my opinion- It never was. One is, yeah, that's true. But one is not better than the other. I think depending on the type of ride that you want is dependent on whether or not you wanna hop on a mountain board or you wanna hop on a one wheel. Definitely the mountain board excels in rock gardens and things where you know, you're able to uh, really be kind of planted because I'm strapped in, right? But then when you <laughs> were going around corners, you can do it effortlessly. Mm -hmm. The other thing I noticed too, is that you can just eject. Yeah, I did that a few times today. Just 
Nope. And then I'm, there I go running down the hill. And me, I have to use my silicone implants to stop me sometimes. Embrace it. Yep. <laughs> right on my ass. It was a good day all in all. In the end, while neither of us changed our minds on our ride of choice, we did gain a little further appreciation for the diverse ways people choose to shred. But I hope this gave you guys just a little bit of inspiration on two more unique ways you can go out there and have an awesome experience in nature and live the unpaved lifestyle.